Yellow Workshop and farm is an agricultural attraction located in Ubud, Bali, Indonesia. The farm is a family-owned business that specializes in the production and sale of the world-famous coffee, Kopi Luwak. So the proof that you can see so many plantations and different names as well. This is the lemon, the oh, leaf yeah. of this one, the lemon. Yeah. And this one, the rosella, rosella flower. Mm. Yeah, mm. and we use from the flower as well mm. for the tea. Mm. And the other one, I think you know that, the long leaf. Uh, the name is pendant in Bali called pendant, pendant or pendant. This is cocoa. Cocoa. This is, you know, vanilla. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do you know uh, African leaf? African yeah. tree? Yeah. This one? This is African. Oh, yeah. yeah. African is good for diabetes. African leaf, African, African, not African coffee. This is good for diabetes. The coffee is made from the dropping of civet cats, which are native to the forests of Indonesia. The cats eat the coffee cherries and the beans pass through their digestive system intact. The droppings are then collected, washed and roasted to produce a unique and expensive coffee. The process of making kopi luwak starts with the civet cats consuming ripe coffee cherries from coffee trees. The digestive enzymes in the civet stomach break down the outer layer of the coffee bean, which enhances the flavor of the bean. The beans are then excreted by the civet and collected by farmers. It's red powder, it's the bean, this one is ready, you know, roasted. So this is that the coffee is ready, you know, it's, uh, roasted. Mm. It's the black one. Mm. And after this, you know, so they can grind it just by hand like this. Yeah, like this one. Oh, they grind it like this. Yeah, like ground it like this by hand. Yeah. And then the name of the animal is Luwak Luwa. or mongoose. Mm. That's the local animal from Bali. Mm. And that we can see that's the wild one. Usually like this animal, they live, you know, so around the tree, mm. like a coffee tree. They get the coffee, they choose for coffee, which one is good coffee or big coffee, yeah, and then they eat. So, the local people, the Japanese people, they collect who like this. This is the coffee, uh, poo from animal, and then they kind of choose of the cup uh, of the poo like this one. How to make, you know, the process like this one, yeah, the best quality, and they choose which one, show something like this. And the coffee of this one, there are two different types of coffee, mild and female. Yeah, mild and pre mild, and the taste as well, that's not the same. Mm. Yeah, mm. so I want stronger mm. than you know, so the female one. Mm. And there are you know, so the spices like this one, mm. this is black pepper, white pepper, mm. this is clove, mm. yeah, cinnamon, mm. and the rosella. This one, yeah, this is the flower. Mm. Yeah, and then how to process up the coffee bean? So, the first they have to prepare there, and after that, roast it like that. Mm. Yeah, so make a black is about 45 minutes. Yeah. After that, you're gonna drop in here. You put in here like this one. Yeah. This is you can smell like this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can smell like coffee bean. But the oh. coffee bean, we call it one that no smell. Yeah. The no. one. You have to roast it first. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. After this one, you know, so the ground it by me. Mm. After that, how to make a powder? How like this? We do it this. Yeah. Right. Look at this. The powder. After this, you know. We can drink and There's mix. No mission that here it depends. No there are, you know, so many missing. But this is just for the first mm. how to showing of the traditional one. Yeah, this is traditional process. Yeah. After collection, the beans are thoroughly washed, sun dried, and roasted to produce the distinctive Kopi Luba coffee. The coffee is known for its unique flavor and aroma with a smooth and rich taste. Kopi Luwak in Bali has become a popular attraction among tourists who wish to try this unique coffee. Many coffee plantations offer guided tours where visitors can see the process of making Kopi Luwak and taste, taste this luxurious coffee. 
Our visit to Satriya was included in our well spent day exploring Ubud with our tour guide Vidi and driver Balik. Vidi explained the process of Luwa coffee baking in simple words. The coffee. I said the uh, coffee from Enema. Oh, you buy $50,000 or $5 per cup. And we can buy from here? Like yes. Well. Yeah. Yeah, different taste. As well, going through the explanation from Satriya Kopi Luwak staffs when serving the coffee and seeing all the steps of the process given as a clarity in the process of Luwak coffee making. At Satriya Kopi Luwak shop and farm, visitors can learn about the coffee making process from start to finish. They can see the civet cats in their natural habitat and learn how the beans are collected and processed. They can also taste the coffee and purchase bags to take home. So you can try? Yeah. Yeah, you can buy the packets also in our shop. Coffee mm. and what is it? Ah, this is robusta and arabica. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All of this for the taste, that's not the same, mm -hmm. right? Mm. And the other one, you know, it's available on the table there. You know, so there are the tea and coffee and the taste, that's not the same as well. And we use as well, you know, so the rice mm. for the tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one, ginger. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Ah. Satriya. That's her name is Satriya. Satriya. Uh, the so I will be put up the picture. I see if you remember, yeah. So this one is Rosella tea for blood circulation, ginger tea for sore throat and stomach problems, red rice tea is good for the bones, calcium, lemon grass is good for skin and slim body. This is Bali coffee, no sugar. Mangosteen tea for preventive cancer control college prop. Saffron tea is for immune system. Chocolate from the nuts. This one is ginseng coffee for energy. This is coconut coffee. This is Bali mocha coffee and chocolate mixed together. This is vanilla. And then this one is avocado. Enjoy your drink. In addition to coffee luwa, the farm also produces other type of coffee such as arabica and robusta as well as other agricultural products including cocoa, vanilla and spices. Visitors can enjoy a tour of the farm with a knowledgeable guide or explore on their own. The shop also offers a range of souvenirs and gift items including coffee mugs, t-shirts and bags of coffee. Overall, a visit to Satriya Kopi Luwak shop and farm is a unique and educational experience that offers a glimpse into the fascinating world of Indonesian coffee production.